Hi, thank you for coming in early to work today. We're going to go through a quick analysis of job performance expectations, and then I'm going to give you three recommendations at the end on how we can improve on these expectations. Let's start with the first one. Goals and performance expectations. Our employees know and understand the goals that have been set out for them. They know, how to, they know what they need to do, and they know how to do it. So that's great. Our employees have said that their biggest problem, though, is over planning, not necessarily needing to know how to do something or when to do it, but just planning too much. So that's getting in the way. So we're doing good there. We seem to cut back on the over planning. Smart goals. They need to be used more. They're only being used on occasional items, but there's products need to be used on a smart goal basis. It needs to be streamlined. Uh, common goals that we've been that need to be streamlined are uh, preparing billing statements to go out to clients on a bi-weekly basis. That's something that just should be streamlined completely. It shouldn't be too hard to figure out. Let's move on to the ability to perform. Our employees are confident in their abilities to complete tasks that are set out for them. They've said that most training they have is on-the-job training and not necessarily formal education training, which is okay, but as I'll talk about later, we should need to increase the formal education side. Um, sometimes employees don't feel as confident in, the, in their ability to complete a task. They don't have the knowledge they need to do it properly, or they just haven't done it enough. So more employee training would increase their effectiveness of doing certain tasks that they're not confident in doing. Employees need access to computers. They need to be able to access the network of clients, our client files. They need to be able to use word processing, and it needs to be quick. It needs to be fast, so we're doing an efficient office. And our aging technology in the office has slowed their ability to perform at adequate speeds. So upgrading the technology would allow them to be less frustrated, there would be more, co more coherence in the office, everything would be going on a faster basis. Reinforcement. Employees have seen a high correlation between their performance and the work ethic. So they know that they need to work hard to perform well. And they have seen that because of our schedule of rewards for quality work. So they know they see that you know, the harder you work, the better the better you get rewarded. So they they see that and it reflects in their work, which is good. They like the biggest reward of flexibility. That was the biggest one for them, being able to work from home or the office and not being not having tied down, but being able to work in the most efficient way for them was what they liked the most. The only problem was we don't have a negative reinforcement schedule. So when employees are late, they don't show up to work at all. When they have shoddy work, we're not doing anything to deter them that behavior. Luckily, we've gotten away with our, our positive reinforcement kind of counteracting that, but we need to have a negative reinforcement schedule to completely get rid of that possibility in the future. Salience. Uh, our rewards are very worth the effort. Employees have stayed because of it. They, they are happy with that. They can work hard and get rewarded well. And it's not just the financial rewards. They are happy with us. They enjoy doing pro bono work in the community and helping out with less fortunate families who don't can't necessarily afford quality financial advice. But when we help them out, you know, we do it for we do it for them because we want to help them and we want to see them grow their wealth. We want to see them be able to do better as a family. They really enjoyed that. They said it makes a difference. It makes it makes you want to go into work and point. And but we'll come back to the fact that once again we still have no punishments for bad behavior. So as much good as we're doing, there's no punishment for bad behavior. Equity. Our benefits are distributed very equally, and our employees like that. They like the fact that it's not about favoritism. It's not about who the boss likes. It's about who works the hardest, who works hard and performs the best. Um, they said that our firm does a nice job of keeping people happy, and that our rewards reflect performance. Once again, coming back to that reward reflecting performance, that's huge for our employees. And they really enjoy the fairness and it has increased employee satisfaction and increased, increased employee retention rate, which has lowered training costs for us, which is great. Timeliness. Our rewards are given out on at the end of the year. We have bonuses given out at the end of the year, but the employees felt that their effectiveness was diminished. 
bonuses being handed out only at Christmas time makes it seem that it's more about the fact that it's Christmas time and not necessarily that they've had a great year of work, that they've worked hard, and that what they're doing is worth it. So, making rewards come in a more timely manner, more often throughout the year, maybe smaller amounts, but more often throughout the year would be go a long way in increasing employee satisfaction in that area. Uh, feedback, like reviews, are given on a quarterly basis, which our employees really liked. They liked being able to come in, talk to the boss, see what they're doing good, see what they're doing bad, see what they need to improve on. So weekly staff meetings have helped to people know when they need to be aware. So that's great. Uh, my first recommendation is that to provide more formal education for our employees. Give them a way to go get educated and be reimbursed by the company. We want to reward curiosity. We want to reward them wanting to go out and get better for themselves. So that's my first recommendation. Second recommendation, upgrade the technology. It's not that hard. It's, I mean, it might be a little expensive, but it'll be well worth it. Our office will be much more efficient and we won't have any problems with inefficient work or backups of reports. And the third and final recommendation is creating a system of punishments that punish bad behavior, such as being late, not showing up, shoddy work. Create a system of reward or punishments for that and we'll be golden in that area. So I hope you've enjoyed the presentation. Thank you. Have a good day.